What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome to part two of my series. And today we're gonna to find out if an American can pass the American citizenship test. So today I have my American friend with me. He is going to take this test and we're gonna see how he does. This test is gonna consist of 20 multiple choice questions. Let's get right into this. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the American citizenship test. Jack is gonna be taking it. I'm basically gonna read off the questions to him because he cannot see them and I'll read off the options. He's gonna tell me which one to choose and that's basically how we're gonna do it. Good thing about this test is it's actually going to tell you if you're right or wrong right away instead of like the Canadian one where you have to wait till the end to find out your results. So, Jack, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, so this is gonna be 20 questions. Shouldn't take too long. Um, question number one. Name one state that borders Canada. Uh, we have South Dakota, Rhode Island, Oregon, Maine. I think I'm going to go with, uh, with Maine. Maine? All right. Let's find out. That one was correct. All right. Okay, so second question. There are 13 original states. Name three. Options are Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, New York, Kentucky, Georgia, Washington, Oregon, California, or Virginia, North Carolina, and Florida. Okay, so Georgia's definitely one of them. Um, I think there's only... The problem is, is I could name three. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a choice. Well, if um, if you, you said Georgia is one, right? Yeah, Georgia's definitely one of the first 13. There's only one that has Georgia listed. Right, but Virginia's also... Virginia's also one. one. Of the first. And I don't think that Virginia, one of the ones you read back were Virginia and Georgia in the same category. No, so. completely different. Do you want to read the ones that have Georgia and Virginia in them? Yeah. Okay, so Georgia, Kentucky, or New York, or Virginia, yeah, that's how. Virginia, North Carolina, and Florida. You know, it's definitely not Florida. Um, because that was a Spanish territory. Um, if those history lessons <laughs> taught you anything, <laughs> I, yeah, I definitely wouldn't anything. do it. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, North. there's there's another one that has Virginia. I must have missed it. Uh, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's that one. My option. That that one there is my bad. I mu I completely missed it until I looked back at the question, and that one is correct. Alright, two for two. Alright, when was the Constitution written? Um, options are 1789, 1787, 1776, 1790. Okay, so 1776 is wrong right off the bat because um, that was when the Declaration of Independence was written. See, I knew, I knew that one too. Not the Constitution. So that one's out. You said 1787. Yeah, 89 and 87. Well, they don't really give you much margin for error on that one. Um, no, they do not. And also 1990. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, if, if the Constitution wasn't written before the 90s, I feel like we as Americans would have bigger problems on our hands. But, um, I'm going to go with 87. 87? 1787. You are correct. All right. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Give women the right to vote, freed slaves, declared our independence from France, declared our in independence from Great Britain. Uh, that would be declared the independence from Great Britain. That is correct. Um, under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? 
to provide schooling and education, to issue driver's licenses, to declare war, or to provide protection, a.k.a. the police. That's, uh, that's to declare war. That is correct. Oh, right. Uh, when do we celebrate Independence Day? See, I would get this one wrong. June 30th, July 4th, March 4th, January 1st. That would be the good old 4th of July. July 4th. Oh, wait, Independence Day. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I would have got that right if I actually read the question. Oh, so. I, <laughs> I usually call it 4th of July. I don't. Uh, that's what got me through, thrown off there. What is freedom of religion? You choose a religion, or you must choose a religion. No one can practice a religion. You can practice any religion, or not practice a religion, or you can't choose the time you practice a religion. That would be you can practice or not practice whatever belief that you choose. Correct. Um, what ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, Southern, which I don't think Southern is an ocean. I don't even know it was a word, but um, that's going to be your Pacific Ocean. It's on the, uh, it's on yep. the West Coast. That's what I was thinking, too. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Uh, this one actually only gives... Oh, no, it does give four options. The Speaker of the House, Secretary of the Treasury, Secretary of State, President, Pro Tempore. That one doesn't even sound real. <laughs> okay, so number one, that last option is a real option. It's a real title. Um, oh, sh Now, exactly nah. what exactly they do, um, you know, what their official duties are. No idea. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, couldn't tell you. I'm going to go with Secretary of State, but I'm not confident in that answer. It was the Speaker of the House. I would not I would have guessed the same thing you did. Um, there are four amendments to the Constitution who can, uh, about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older. Citizens by birth only citizens 17 and older or citizens with a job uh, that would be the citizens 18 and older correct that was an that was an easy one but i hate to tell you but i, I got that one wrong when i was asked it earlier um what is the name of the national anthem i probably don't even have to read the options to you no that would be uh be the Star Spangled Banner right there. Correct. I was going to read them off, and I'm like, that one's, that one's an easy one. You know, if I don't know that one, I might as well just, <laughs> you know, revo revoke my citizenship card. Right now. Uh, next one. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. War of 1812, World War One, Revolutionary War, Civil War. I didn't have to read them, I don't think. No, that was, that was Civil War. Yeah. So the first half was kind of tricky. These ones seem faster paced. Um, what is the supreme law of the land? The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, Articles of Confederation, or the Emancipation Proclamation? I mispronounced the crap out of that. Okay, so the Articles of Confederation don't even exist right. anymore. Uh, the Declaration of Independence, all it did was basically declare our freedom. Mm -hmm. um, the Emancipation Proclamation was a speech given by Abraham Lincoln, so, so it doesn't even, you know, apply. I mean, it, it's it's the Constitution, and, you know, okay, I learned so that just in college. Okay, so Constitution, yes. Yes, so Constitution. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. Dear God. Um, James Madison, T 
Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, George Washington. Honestly, I think it was Madison. Alright, is that the final answer? Yeah, if I had to lock one in, that would be my my guess. Well, you were correct. Uh, the House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435, 100, 200, or 441? Okay, so we're talking about the House of Representatives. I know it's not 100, because 100 is the Senate. Because for the Senate formation, it's two senators from every state. Mm -hmm. But the House of Representatives is based on state population. Okay, so that, that leaves the 400 and... It's it's got to be. What are the ones that are above a hundred? You know, a hundred, two hundred. It's got to be above. You 200. have four hundred and forty-one or four hundred and thirty-five. They're close. Again, not much margin of error. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with four hundred and forty-one. Okay. It was four thirty-five. It was close. That was, yeah. How do citizens, how, or sorry, how do how old do citizens have to be to vote for president? I think you answered this in a previous question, so I don't, I don't even have to read it off, I don't think. It's 18. Yeah. I was going to say, we had a question yeah. that had that in it earlier. Um, name two national U.S. holidays, Valentine's Day and President's Day. Labor Day and Thanksgiving, April Fool's Day and Labor Day, or Citizenship Day and Columbus Day? Okay, so Thanksgiving was one, and, and what was the one with Thanksgiving? Labor Day. Yeah, that's it. That's it? You're really good, because that, that's the one I chose earlier. Um, that is correct. Under... Our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one of the powers? Provide schooling and education, create an army, make treaties, coin or print money. That's uh, printing. Wait, no, hold on. Ooh. See, the problem is we're... We're just now going over this and the court cases that surround this in, in class. Okay. See, I, I did um, not get this question, but I know right away what it is. Because it's I know. very similar to how Canada does things, this question. So I know it's not armies, because every state can't have their own army. Mm -hmm. um, Correct. Number one. Um... What's another option? So it's not armies. Provide schooling and education. I'm going to come back to that one. Make treaties. Yeah, no, that I didn't know. Alright, I knew that one too. And then coin or print money. I don't think that's it because I think that's a federal deal. I think so too. So I'm that means you go with the education. That is correct. That's what, that's what I was thinking whenever I read the question. Uh, what is what ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic, Indian. I think you know this well, one. If the Pacific's on the west, yeah, that means the Atlantic has to be on the east. You are right. That was a really easy one. And the last one. Name one state that borders Canada. Wasn't this the first question? <laughs> this was the first question. That was Maine. <laughs> Correct. Oh, God. All right, let's uh, review the results. <laughs> first and last question the same. Okay, so you got 80 
75%. You got 17 out of the 20 questions right. That was really good. Um, I did the Canadian citizenship test because I'm Canadian. That was the first episode of the series. And I only got 80% on that test. So you did better with your own country's citizenship test than I did. So uh, that's that's really good. Did you expect to get that many? No, no. <laughs> um, I mean, but a lot of it, um, there, there were quite a few that were, I probably wouldn't have gotten without studying True. Um, you know, being in in the the major that I am, because I'm a I'm a political science mm-hmm. major, leaning uh, to a legal background. So without having you know some of that education already under my belt, then you know, there's no way I would have gotten. <laughs> that is true. I never even thought of that until you just said it. Like, yeah, you. are what you're doing in school right now, it, it's very this, in a way. Yeah, so I never even different. thought of that until after, after you just said it. I'm thinking, well, well crap. Uh, episode 3 is going to be me taking the American citizenship test. I already have that one recorded. That's why I mentioned it during this episode. And the fourth one is going to be Jack taking the Canadian citizenship test. Um, we're going to leave this one here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Anything else you want to say, Jack? Be sure to like and subscribe. There we go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care.